Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel where today we'll be once again continuing our series on my new YouTube and music setup. Today we're going to be unboxing the Audio Technica AT2020. So this is the box. So the packaging is pretty minimal. So we're going to unbox it. So we have some documentation here. Some more documentation. And here we have some covering. And here we go, here's the main thing. So before we get to the main thing, the main part of our video, we got a pretty high quality, yeah really high quality um, case. If you can see this, Audio Technica. So inside of here, we get something as well. So we can place that over here. So we get a, another piece for making this for the AT2020. So I'm just going to unbox this and I'll be back. Alright, so here we go. There's a bit of sticky tape there. Alright, so we have a knife for the AT2020. So this is just going to hold our um, microphone on a boom arm, whatever. This is just going to connect our microphone. So let's place that aside as well. And now for the main deal, the big deal here. Let's place the box aside for now. That's just a piece of the box. Alright, so here we go. We have some nice covering here. And here it is. So, the AT2020. So, this is the XLR microphone. Just have a piece here. That's just the piece holding it. But here it is. It's really high quality. Something like a metal feel. Here's the metal microphone that I'll be talking to. But yeah, this is XLR powered, as you can see. So we have the AT2020 here, some stuff there. So this is a condenser microphone, if I um, forgot to say that. Um, so that connects to XLR, obviously. So Audio Technica. So yeah, there's nothing much to show here. So basically, we just have this this is all that comes with the packaging so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be use, um, using this and we're going to be connecting it to the M Audio which I have reviewed in another video and we're going to be testing them out together so thank you guys for watching this video so there's nothing much to show but like thank you for watching before we get into the initial configuration all that stuff remember to leave a like and subscribe and let's get into the initial configuration and setting it up and testing it with the M Audio. So we have now set up the AT2020 which we have connected to my M Audio A interface using an XLR cable. I'm currently talking through the AT2020. Now we are going to be doing a small comparison with the AT2020 and my computer's built in audio using my guitar. So we are first going to use the computer's audio. <laughs> So this is the sound we get from my computer's audio. So we are now going to play the guitar using the AT2020. As you can see, using the AT2020, we get a more clean and fresh sound compared to the computer's audio. 
Another thing to note down is that when you're further away from the microphone, the output is much thinner than when it is close up. So that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and remember to leave a like, subscribe and comment what you'd like to see in the future. Stay tuned for the next video in the series and I'll see you guys next time.